During the new year, you may be inspired to put down the remote, get off the couch, and get moving more. How am I already out of breath? Am I out of shape or is it the cold? Well, let's find out and raise that weather IQ. Cold. Being cold is subjective, where people tolerate the cold differently. When you're running, you generate your own heat, which makes the cold more tolerable compared to standing still. 45 degrees, for example, is a cold day for most of us here in the Carolinas. But some studies have stated that 45 degrees is actually an ideal marathon temperature. Temperatures in the 40s minimize our body's efforts to maintain its core temperature. This leaves us more energy to maintain faster paces. But there are some disadvantages. Running in the cold can also trigger what's called bronchospasms, which are asthma like coughing and wheezing that makes breathing more difficult. When running in the cold, you create your own windshield, which makes your extremities feel colder. But there are some great advantages. When we have our first real frigid day of the season, our bodies spark its fight or flight reflex. Blood moves inward from your skin to preserve its core. Running in exercises also causes levels of a chemical that increases brain cell growth. That releases the feel-good hormone dopamine. This is helpful for those suffering from seasonal affective disorder during the colder months. Also by running in the sunshine, it increases our production of vitamin D, which regulates serotonin. This makes us happy if it's normal. When it's low, can lead to depression. When running in the cold, dress in layers. Cover up your extremities. Make sure to limber up because your muscles can really tighten up in those colder temperatures. And of course, stay hydrated no matter the temperature. Stay warm and enjoy the run. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.